Well, looking back at the history of RMI TV and, and Studio A, I couldn't think of anyone better to speak to than the alumni that are Rusters and Stephen Hall. Thanks for coming, mates. Thank Thanks you very much. much. Cheers. Thank, Thank you, you. Thanks Thanks so much. Oh, it's good fun. to be back. Yeah, how do you feel being back? Oh, you were saying before you're getting memories. Anything immediate being mm. back in the studio? I'm immediately drunk. <laughs> <laughs> Just like that. Is that how you did the TV back in those <clears throat> days? Just yep. <laughs> Not always. You, paint, you painted the walls. That's yeah. nice. It was always very grey and dingy in here, and I don't right. think we ever used this room, right. did we? Uh, we did. We had office. We used to use this as an office. Did we? Yeah. Oh, gee whiz! But uh, and lo loads of seats in the audience. We had loads of seats, but not many people in them. Right. Yes. <laughs> well, optimism. Yes. But I have a feeling that you guys are to, to blame for the start of all this, though. Is that no. fair to say? No. The man named Marty Schneeberger oh, okay. built a television transmitter for his final year Cominge. Production wow. and What's com engine mean? Yeah, com, uh, communications engineering. Yes, yeah, that's right. And he wanted to use it, so he decided to build a television station. The, uh, the Murdochs and the Packers of the world wouldn't let him, so they started a pirate station with a guy called Steve Middleton wow. and John Saradin. Channel 10 came and interviewed him. The government came back and said, if you shut down this pirate station, you'll be able to go to air for two hours, uh, for two weeks every six months. On and RMI TV. RMI TV yeah. and STU over at Footscray and Scar Television in St Kilda. Wow. And that's what happened. And now with those three stations up until everyone joined up in the early 90s, and it that became all, Channel 31. Yeah, that all predates Channel 31. Well, yeah. I love how you said that Murdoch and Packer wouldn't let him make a station like they were walking around saying, yeah. Oi, is that a transmitter? Put <laughs> yeah. it down. Were they in touch? They did, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, can, I can remember Rupert Murdoch grabbed me by the throat <laughs> and saying, Stop that. Yeah. No, but it was. It was actually basically the Packers and the Murdochs of the world really just did not want any competition. And as, as we've seen now, competition has diluted all the television stations that pre existed, you know, right. in those days. So, yeah, it made sense. Did you feel like bad boys doing it? Did you feel like you were doing your own thing? And I think we were quite bad at what we were doing. Oh, right, okay, yes. I didn't mean that. Um, no, but it, it was uh, quite sort of underground and under the radar, wasn't it? It really? was awful. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, it was. And, and what, it was well, great. In what way was it awful? Well, Just in it was raw. It in was 1987, raw. we had a pot plant as our set. Yes. <laughs> and... And that is minimalist. <laughs> that is avant-garde. And we had to I'm make... not right in thinking the pot plant had a name and it was Barabbas. <laughs> Something like it was called Barabbas. It was too, yeah. Yeah, it was called Barabbas. So Channel 31 started yeah. basically with the pot plant. There was a lot yeah. of shows. There's one show that's still on. Red Eye News mm. um, uh, is still on. Is that is that still on? What's the news program that's still on at Channel 31? There is one program that still exists from <laughs> I 1987. Like I, know this. I appreciate being on Channel 31. Thank yeah. you so much for having yeah. me. Yeah. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> I ask you a question. No, yeah. the um, yeah. yeah, no, no. It, there's the shows. Some of the shows that went on in those first days. One of them is still going. Right. Which makes it uh, 27 years old. Wow, mm. amazing. That is. When did Under Melbourne Tonight come about? Were you the first to host that? Uh, yes. Um, so that was your show. You... Well, sort of. Yeah, there were there were prototypes. Bef there were uh, shows before that. There was The World's Not Round. There was Hamburger Dudes Chaise Lounge, <laughs> which I'm sure you remember. <laughs> and, oh, yeah. I've and got the poster at home, yeah. Elvis Welder's Weird World, which was hosted by Lord Elvis the Destroyer. Although back then he was just called Elvis the Welder. Was this a character of yours? No, 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 no. Richard Denton, his name was. Richard right. Denton, his like, name was. Yeah, that's yeah. right. Uh -huh. And, um, oh, yeah. yes. And, uh, we put it together. Well, Liam O'Hara was the driving force behind Under, Under Melbourne, Melbourne Tonight, and we met. Uh, he was. We were all doing shows on Triple R, and mm. so that's why a lot of the Under Melbourne Tonight people were from Triple R. Mm. And Liam was the, sort of assembled everything together, as, as well as your sister Claire Hedger. Um, sorry, Claire Rastus. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, but. Uh, yeah, that when was it? 93, 94? 93, 7, 94. Yeah. Yeah, uh, so mm. we'd done a, we'd been doing a radio show with um, the guy I was talking about, the um, Zeno, right? Who um, went out back to America and uh, Liam. A radio on what was it? Community Triple radio? R. We were on Triple R, R for about yeah, five yeah. years, something like right. that. Yes. Cool. And my sister had worked at Triple R for many years doing the Australian music show. So she got a lot of the big bands, like the bands that came on our show were quite huge, you know, and some of them, the Avalanches did one of their first mm. gigs yeah. on the show. We, Who had, else? we had Tism, we had Black Eyed Susans, and we had... Um, Cosmic jo Psychos. Cosmic Psychos. We had John Safran's band, Red Cordial. Uh, really? John Safran's yeah. band was there. What was it? Was he a singer? Or was He's a rapper. He's a rapper? Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, John yeah. Safran was a rapper. Yeah. This is why you guys are important to talk to because we get these <laughs> pieces of gold. Who knew, hey? Uh, yeah. I actually, I, I, I've watched a bunch of Under Melbourne tonight, and uh, in the opening, you wear goggles. 
That's uh, right. And, and I think in one of the episodes, episode 101, I think you're wearing yes, goggles. That, yes, that's so right. So just to bring you yes. back a little ba uh, bit, I bought you uh, just a little gift. As wow, a that's very kind it. of you. Wow. There you go. I couldn't find the exact white ones, but uh, no, that's I very kind. you might enjoy, Thanks. enjoy having them. So Can I try them on? Yeah, I'd love you to. But can I just, for now, just yeah. have them up here in a, that's in a sort a, of a jaunty that's angle? That's how you have them. Yeah, that's because the idea with that with the opening credits was that I'd... Wasn't I coming out of you're the Yarra out of River? A, I thought you were coming out of a fountain or something. No, it's the Yarra River. Oh, and, then, <laughs> and then beckoning everyone to come along in this crazy Odyssey Pied yeah, Piper style. That's right. Remember so that? You were dancing with an umbrella at, at, yes, at the Street were. Station. No, well, yeah. you, you had a segment, uh, the way, complete waste of time, Russell. Yeah, yeah, yeah and it was. And too. apparently the um, director's <laughs> wife used to go and make a cup of coffee during my segment. <laughs> but, High praise indeed. <laughs> but isn't that nice, though, that in a community TV show, you can have segments dedicated yeah. to wasting time? Yeah, that's right. It's nice yeah. but i'm sure that's malcolm turnbull's argument as well <laughs> oh, <Yeah. no. laughs> may not necessarily be entertaining for anyone but this is the great thing about it is that you can grow up in public and you mm. can you can make your mistakes and wow. not not in front of an enormously wide huge audience but you well, do you, learn such valuable is, skills this is pre-internet as well do yeah you, that's right do, thank god you, well, thank yeah. goodness but how do you feel because a lot of the clips are going on the internet now oh yes so and how do you uh, feel about that? I mean, you you were happy yeah. to broadcast Not sure. the community because we did a lot worse. <laughs> that was that was better than the worst that we did ten years before that. Oh really? So we'd done some pretty bad stuff, like really awful, awful. We we used to film eight hours a day. Mm to get seven hours of material. <laughs> so it was, oh, it was awful. Comedy, it alleged comedy. It's all gold, comedy. guys, keep yeah. it in. Um, but there, so a lot much. of people made their debuts on the show. There was, mm. um, you know, Dave Hughes, uh, Eric Banner. Uh, we had Will Anderson and we had Rove did his first gig. And how often did they come over to thank you? They, your birthdays, <laughs> you get Christmas cards? But I mean, they, did, they learned how to work in front of a television and a yeah, lot of, of crew. We had uh, over 150 people who worked on that show yeah. Went on to work in uh, commercial television, mm. so it was a good training ground. It's very hard to get training now if you're actually, mm. you, when you go to the ABC, you don't get a job, you know, at the bottom and work up anymore. You have to be be good at your job to start with. So Channel yeah. 31 is really important to train people mm. to become the cinematographers and the camera people that the, the world talents famous. that they are, the writers that they are. Yeah. Well, you guys really ran amok in in the show. You guys did some crazy things in uh, in an episode. You burnt a twenty dollar note, which is illegal, which we've reported. It wasn't real, wasn't real. I have no recollection of those uh, events. Yeah, pretty uh, you're did. Uh, but was there anything that you got in trouble for? Yeah, well, actually, early, in the early days, a guy built a bomb on air, and it what? caused yeah, um, it caused. This is in 1988. Um, and it caused a storm all over Talkback Radio. Neil Mitchell's Talkback went not... No one ever saw it, because no one could watch it. Because it was on UHF and hardly anyone could pick it up. And there was just this bloke in Doncaster who kept receiving it John accidentally. John Paul. John Paul. John Paul Caster. And, uh, yeah, he kept receiving it accidentally and rang us up and asked us to please stop. But Because he had a video that came from uh, Korea that only worked on UHF 47, which is the channel <laughs> it was on. Right. But, th yeah, there was a bomb made on air. All, all those terms I don't know. Yeah. I just know Google now. Google and YouTube. Is UHF that. is ultra high frequency. Right. VHF is very high frequency. But that's right. all analog television. Hmm. We're now, luckily, Channel 31 is on the digital channel. Yeah. Yeah. But, yeah, they, we had, there was a huge storm about that. And ASIO investigated us for about three years. Okay, yeah. did you feel a little bit proud that you were making waves no, or were you embarrassed? Uh, well, that guy was like, he was he was related to the Murdoch, so he was actually already... So he, he, was, he was sabotaging... <laughs> No. They really, the Murdochs really did get in and try to... No, I think, I think the thing was that yeah. they, they demonstrated how to make a bomb on air, which was a real... That's a serious crime. Yeah, probably so ASIO smart, were very so. angry about it. Mm. Yeah. So that wasn't good. Listen, guy, if, any, if anyone's going to bomb on this station, it's the comedians. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. There you oh, go. yeah, certainly. <laughs> certainly know how to do that. Yeah. Yes, yes. Uh, any, any highlights, <laughs> any things that uh, went wrong or things that went really well? A band called the Fuck Bucks once uh, actually fucked a cantaloupe live on air. That's right. Wait, can you Fred, Fred sorry, say that one more time? I Fred want to get Negro all the words. Fred Negro fucked a cantaloupe on air. A mm. cantaloupe. Mm. Yeah. But, you know... The, and how was the host? Do you respond to this? Well, he'd been going out with the cantaloupe for a while. <laughs> it was fine. You know. It was consensual. They were, yeah, they, uh, they'd met the cantaloupe's parents. It was okay. all good. Um, no, they, the fuck fucks were known for the, being the fuck fucks. How were the they, they were controversial. Just if you if you see K. Yeah, yeah. They had a song called Hey Hey where the fuck fucks and people say we're fucking around. Um, <laughs> but they, yeah, they were they were a very very entertaining song. band. But yeah. um, well, Fred oh, Negro is still around. He still yeah. writes. He still draws the cartoon in. Um, oh, 
in those in beta impress. Beta in impress. He does the pub comics. It's a comic strip called Pub. Yeah. And uh, but he's been a cartoonist for many many years, and he's a very very entertaining front man. Sometimes he'd perform with his teeth in. Sometimes he wouldn't. <laughs> and uh, on this occasion, yeah, he he dropped the dropped the trouser and um, did it with a candlelight. Got mm. pretty intimate. Yeah, with the candlelight. Um, don't say that on Big Brother. You don't. <laughs> you do not. Uh, Tism came on once. They were good. They sort yeah. of jumped around and trashed the joint a bit. That was really good fun. They released an album on on our show. That's right, yes. Uh, called Machiavelli and the Four Seasons, which was their big album, which had... Uh, uh, He'll Never Be an Old Man River, otherwise yeah. known as I'm on the Drug That Killed River Phoenix. Which right. was a huge song. It was uh, like it was. an enormous... So they actually... And they spent thousands to actually create it. So. Mm. Yeah. Well, uh, we do have to wrap it up, but I do want to get a couple more things out of you. Because uh, we got we got time. Come on, realistically, we got time. You're going to have to it's it. Halloween. Uh, no, it's fine. <laughs> That's why I'm wearing this costume. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I, I do want to know, uh, in the work that you've done now, you've worked on, on, on Hamish and Andy, on Comedy Inc., on all sorts of, uh, you've written for mm. shows and been head writer yep. for shows. And, and you've had a hit. wonderful career. You played Bert Newton. <laughs> so you would have... Yeah, what an incredible role. He was but in Romper Stomper. I was, you too. Were, yeah, you were, you've got the marks on there now, by the way. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> for <laughs> Halloween. It's my, it was exactly it's as the I horns. It's where the horns are going to come exactly out. Exactly as I He abducted Bouncer in Neighbours. <laughs> that's true. Well, I was on Neighbours for a while as well. You've done all, yeah, so you've done yes. all these wonderful things on yes. Australian TV. What particular lessons did you learn in community TV that, that you utilised later on? Don't look down the barrel of a camera. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, it's I do that every episode. <laughs> so it, sorry. It's fine if you're hosting. It's yeah, fine. It's, fine. it's oh, yeah. absolutely fine. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, I, I think uh, that's, a, that's a really good question. I think just having fun. I mean, the yeah. main thing that people get really nervous about it, and we are all friends and hosting, it's, mm. it's hosting. It's, it's mm. being with, with friends and enjoying their company. And mm. if it's not polished around the edges, then, you know, that's okay. We're in this together. We can enjoy the joke together, and we're all here to have a good time. And, and I think there is a danger of taking things mm. too seriously. Having said that, you want a, a modicum of uh, organisation and a modicum of, of professionalism mm. because um, th there's, it, it's really annoying. It gets pretty annoying pretty quick when people go, oh, stuff that up. Sorry, oh, we don't know mm. what we're doing in here. Yeah, yeah. That's, that but gets pretty There's a difference quick. between seriousness and being solemn. You can be serious yes. and have fun. And that's right. Yeah. The most important thing is that there's a crew that work on the show mm. and anyone who gets above the crew is an idiot, right? And you learn that because you, you learn be being a crew and all that sort of mm. thing. You've, you've got to realise how important the crew are. All the mm. camera people, all the audio people, the person who goes and gets chops up the carrots and puts mm. them in the dip. All those sort of people are really important on every TV show and you realise that when commercial television as much as you do at Channel 31. Yes, everyone, everyone's in it together. And yeah. Yeah, that's right. And this ego, oh, geez, you won't last long if you've got, if, so if you've got ego problems. So the people, when you're learning from community, <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> right. So when you're learning from community TV, you realise it is about the community that you have and you've taken it's that into team. the commercial but you, world. But you're creating something that wasn't there before and you're yeah. all doing it together and it's better to create something by, with other people and, and much more rewarding than mm. just doing it by yourself in your bedroom with your webcam. Of course, Adolf Hitler invented something that wasn't there before too. All um, right, well, thanks for, thanks for <laughs> ending on something we should cut, Hitler. Rusters. I appreciate that. Uh, well, that's even before us. That's the, yeah. <laughs> the yeah. original. Yeah. Well, you said in your Christmas episode in 1994... Yeah. You said this, Stephen. Did I? Yes, you said, uh, thank you, RMI TV, for letting me host. Oh, no. It makes me happy. And thank you, guys, oh. for, for creating this legacy. It's made a lot of people happy. So thanks very much. Thanks, for coming. Thanks, I, I love the things to say. That. Thank you very thank much. You. Thank you, thank you Cheers, guys. Thank you. Thanks, everyone.